Okay, my name is Imelda Matengo. I'm in Court 9. I'm studying software engineering. My name is Leah Kamau, currently doing software engineering program. I'm in Court 9. My name is Bridget Wambua. I'm currently pursuing a course at LX, that is software engineering. Currently, I'm in Court 11. My name is Zahra Jalal Khan. I'm doing the software engineering LX program and I'm in cohort nine. As a young woman in tech, what excites me the most is I'm part of the bus, where we are heading to. So I'm so happy about that. Secondly, we believe that women are not well-skilled as men in tech. So I'm excited to be part of the group of women who are ready to change the narrative. One reason why I consider it's important to have women in tech is because we need to have solutions that are tailored to meet the needs of everyone, a different approach to solving problems, and that will translate to customer satisfaction. The misconceptions we have about women in technology is women feel like it's mostly coding. They need to know how to code, which isn't the case. Then there's this notion where um, they feel like women shy away from learning technology. And then there's this bias, that gender bias, where it's mostly male-dominated, which is funny enough because when women come and tackle these issues, they do better. My greatest inspiration in my journey is when I see other women partaking the tech space, it motivates me and inspires me a lot to also take that path and follow them. For instance, some of the ladies have brought innovative ideas, handling of many challenges and bringing solutions. So my journey in LX has been able to shape me up to the right direction. Having this opportunity to learn at LX, it's just a general growth in my career and, and my personal skills. Something else I'd add is that studying in LX gives you a, a room to move from the, from the cocoon of comfort. Because here you have to dedicate 70% of your time on your studies. And these studies is from a, a perspective whereby you don't depend on anyone. You depend on yourself and the resources provided. So you'll have to sacrifice and you have to force yourself to be disciplined. Being in ALX and also having peers that you're working with, it keeps you moving and also uh, being able to network with other people who are also learning. Teach you different approaches on how to go through something so you're able to master it. My word to my fellow women in Africa that want to pursue the tech space, I would not lie to them that it is easy, actually it is not easy, but with the right passion, with the right commitment and knowing what you are after will make you to make it. And uh, the vulnerable society is the women and children. So if women are given that equipment of learning technology, they're able to go out there and look for things that will be able to solve issues that the society is facing. My message to any young woman out there who wants to get into tech is believe in your abilities and be confident. Some advice that I would give is learn as, as much as you can and start as early as possible. There are so many resources on the internet and even such a program, the ALX Software Engineering Program, which is fully sponsored and provides you the necessary resources to get you learning and requirements to get into it. You don't have to have any background in tech. Yeah, you can even do it. The message I would give women out there is technology right now in Africa is just at its peak. It's just starting. Women out there are doing a lot of things in technology and doing so many good things. So why not you? Why not start right now? Have that passion to want to create and solve something. A message to a young woman out there in Africa would like to pursue career in tech. I'd like to tell you just go for it. Follow your passion. Forget about the stereotypes. Forget about the misconceptions. We are all capable to do this and uh, just go for it.